Welcome to July's Leco Challenge. Today's problem is reduce array size to the half. Given the array R, you can choose a set of integers and remove all the occurrences of these integers in the array. Return the minimum size of the set so that at least half of the integers of the array are removed. If we're given an array like this, we can see that if we remove 3 and 7, we will have an array of 55522, five, two, which is a size 5, is equal to the half or it could be less than half of this array. So immediately, I think we could tell that we're gonna use a counter object. And what we'll do is sort this counter object by the number of values with, in descending order. We're gonna pop off uh, the integers that occur the most times. And each time we'll check to see if the total length is now half of the array. And if it is, we'll break our loop and then return our output. So let's first start by creating our counter object. It's just gonna count up the number of times each integer appears. We'll also store the length of the array. Uh, now what we have to do is go through this in sorted order, right? So in sorted, uh, what we'll do is take our counter object, get the items, and we're gonna use our Lambda function here uh, to say, let's see, uh, the the, the value in descending order. So each time we're going to check to see if we've removed enough. Uh, we'll count them up here with n, and we're gonna add to our uh, n, how many values are, are we gonna be able to pop off? That would be the value here, right? So if uh, n is, let's see, greater or equal to, no, yeah, greater or equal to n divided by 2, then we will break. Uh, we also need to store our output somewhere. And that starts with 0, and we'll increase this by 1 each time. So once we break out of this loop, we can just return our output. And let's see if this works. This should return 2. Uh, key on the x. Oh, got our items. Okay, so that looks like it's working, so let's submit that. And there we go, accepted. So time complexity is going to be, well, the sorted function is the key, so that's going to be n log n. Uh, unfortunately, we can't really make it better than that unless we do a sorted um, algorithm that's O of n, such as like the bucket sort. You could use bucket sorting given that our... Uh, Number of, array, number of numbers aren't that big, but honestly, this seems to be good enough, so I think we'll end it here. All right, thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.